Woody, I appreciate the chance we have to get together today. I don't know if there's something or not we have that'll help you, but I'll go through the areas we work in. Areas such as increasing cash flow, reducing debt, reducing taxes. We also specialize in life insurance and annuities, and how they can possibly shave years off your potential retirement date. After that, if there's an interest on your part, I'll gather some information. We'll get back together at another point to go through some specifics. There's nothing, nothing to buy today, so just sit back and relax. Federal Financial Group is a national company representing several insurance companies and other financial institutions with billions of dollars of assets, some of which have been in business for over 100 years. What we do is we teach people about money, how it works, and how to make it work for you. Specifically, our goal is one thing, to help people become financially independent. What that means is that the interest you're earning on the money you've got put away replaces what you normally would earn from a business or salary. At that point, you don't have to work anymore. You may choose to, but you don't have to. Financial independence. Wouldn't you like, wouldn't you like to know how to get there the soonest? That's where I'm heading. What I want to do is touch on some of the issues and challenges that face us today and then talk about the solutions. First off, look at the last 10 years. Incomes have risen, yes, but living expenses keep going up and up and up. For many Americans, there's no real way that incomes have kept up with housing or a lot of other things. So what happens is people tend to get into debt, lack of security steps in, poor savings habits ensue, and that creates some real problems. Now this is my point. Out of 100 people turning 65 today, only four are financially secure with incomes of $35,000 or more. Only four. The other 96 are not. Now what is their situation? Well, one, many rely on family. Two, many rely on charity. Or three, and this is perhaps the majority of them, they're still working. For example, look at all the seniors working at Walmart today. You know, uh, last week I was, I was in between two meetings exactly like this. It was a little bit later in the afternoon, but I hadn't eaten yet, and, and I needed to eat quick, so I pulled over to the side of the road at a Wendy's. And, um, you know, I ordered your usual, you know, burger, fries, Coke, as I turned around to get my napkins and ketchup from the condiment bar, I, uh, I, I, this woman stuck out to me. And to be kind and conservative, uh, I would say she was in her mid to upper 70s. And she was restocking, you know, one of the napkin stalls. And I thought that was ironic because she was so much older than anybody else working here. So I turned around, grabbed a seat ate my burger, ate my fries, drank my Coke. As I was busting my own table and heading toward the garbage, I looked over the other side of the restaurant, and there this poor old thing was on her hands and knees, chipping gum off the bottom of one of the booths on the other side of the restaurant. Now, I know that's not where I want to be at that age. I'm pretty sure you don't want to be there at that age. So here are the solutions. What we do is we work in key areas involving seven steps to help build your financial future. We weave these steps together to help people increase cash flow, get out of debt, reduce taxes, and retire as soon as possible if desired. The goal here is to obtain financial independence much, independence much quicker. So what I'm going to do is rip through these real quick. Stop me if you have any questions, but keep in mind the specific areas that you do have the biggest need or biggest priority. And then we can develop a strategy later on. Step one, inspect what, you, inspect what you expect. In order to have money later on for your future goals and dreams, you need to know where you're spending money now. Part of the understanding of how money works and how you make it work better for you is knowing where your money goes. We introduce you to a tool that can help track your earnings And, and expenditures so that you can inspect what you expect. The goal here is to free up extra money you didn't know you had. 
extra cash could be used to pay off debt or apply toward future dream was to possibly shave years off your retirement date. Step two, increase cash flow. Now, what do you, how do you define cash flow? That's great. Good definition. Let's also define cash flow as this. Monthly cash flow is what you have over at the end of each month after money comes in and expenses and bills go out. We work with firms that specialize in improving your cash flow by reducing the cost of servicing your debts. For example, let me ask you another question. At the end of the year, are you getting a tax refund or do you owe taxes? It's interesting that you say that because a recent client of ours said that he usually got about $2,500 to $3,000 back each year. And we said, so what you're telling me is that you're paying the government to keep your money for a little over a year, then allowing them to give it back to you with 0% interest. He said, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. And you know what? It doesn't. There are ways to take that money as it's being earned and put it back into your budget to earn more money for you instead of the government. Step three, eliminate your debt. We want to help people eliminate their debt and, we, debt, and we use two plans to help people eliminate debt. The debt eliminator. And as you can, here's an actual client illustrated. As you can see, they got a mortgage of $144,000. Their minimum payment's $925. Their actual payment's $925. They're getting 6.25% interest. Auto loan, $39,000. Again, making the minimum payment. Credit card, $10,000. Again, making the payment. Store credit, $1,200. Again, making the minimum payment. Now, if they continue to do this, their plan's going to get them out of debt in 26.8 years. With the down, with the debt eliminator plan, we're going to help them get out of debt in 3.1 years. Or, I'm sorry, 13.1 years. Three is 13.1 years. And, and that's everything including their mortgage. Um, they have the same debt, make the same total monthly payment. There's no refinancing involved, but they're debt-free debt in 13.1 years, including their mortgage. Um, so be out of debt and possibly have up to $500,000 in savings for retirement. Now in a few minutes, if you would like, I'll be happy to gather some information. And when we get back together, I'll bring you back your own personalized debt eliminator. Um, now, what do you, if, if we can help get you out of debt sooner than you otherwise would have been, without changing your monthly payments, would that interest you? Okay. All right. Now, uh, Plan B involves your mortgage. Do you uh, have a mortgage? Okay, this place is paid off. Okay. Good for you. Step ahead of the game. So on to step four. Step four, develop an emergency fund. This is a biggie as well. Creating an emergency fund, uh, what I find most people, they don't have one. So if an emergency comes up, goes on plastic, creates new debt. You've got to replace a uh, transmission for the car. It may be $1,800 that three or four years later turns into a three to $4,000 transmission, and, and you've already sold the car off. Emergency fund needs to have um, a general rule of thumb to it. You want to keep a minimum of three months' salary in there, preferably six. It should be in a safe place it should return a, a better interest rate than a checking account. You want this thing to be liquid so you can get to it, completely liquid so it's easy to get to, but also you want to keep it separate from your checking account and funded systematically. It's an emergency fund is simple, it's powerful, and it works. Step five. Protect what you have. This is where we're utilizing life insurance to provide proper protection against the loss of life, which leads to, of course, loss of income. You know, it's pretty devastating where mom and dad have three kids and dad is suddenly gone. 
something happens. It's devastating. And once dad is gone, so is his income. Have you seen that before? Yeah. yeah. Now, now who's going to pay the house payment, food, and light bill? That's what's devastating, right? Part of a good financial plan is proper insurance to replace income. It also sets, sets up an immediate estate. Here we do things a little bit different. We look at a person's financial needs and bring back options that will save people money while increasing their cash flow, helping them get set up with the proper amount of life insurance. How much insurance is enough? Well, a general rule of thumb is to calculate your total annual household income, then multiply that uh, figure by a factor of 10. As you can see in this illustration, we're looking at a household in uh, income annual household income is $60,000. We multiply apply that by 10, their insurance needs are $600,000. On to the biggie, step six. This is the biggest one. And if you listen to me, it could change the quality of your life. This is one everyone likes the best. Step six is building a long-term income or long-term savings. Now, there's two elements at play here. Two financial battles you have to win to win the money game. Because if you don't incorporate these, the chances of you being financially independent probably won't happen. And if it does, it's way out there. So here are the two battles you have to win. One, the inflation battle. You'll see why in a minute. And two, the tax battle. Because it's not what you make. It's what you keep. Taxes will hurt you if you're not careful. Let's talk about inflation. Have you heard the rule of 72? Let me explain it to you. It's really interesting. Whatever interest rate you're saving at, say 4%, divide that into the number 72, that will tell you how many years it will take for that money to double. double. So 4% into 72, 18 years. 4 into 72, 18. Every 18 years, your money will double. double. Here's an example. Let's say you got $100 in an account that earns 4%. We've already established that's 18 years. If you leave it and it just grows at 4% in 18 years, it'll double to 200. Uh, what happens in another 18 years at 4%? That's right, doubles to 400. Here's the problem. 36 years from now, will $400 buy what $100 does now? That's inflation. What do you, uh, if people are saving them what they're saying, banks, credit unions, fixed accounts, etc., where they're probably not even getting 4%. You can see what's happening. Money is growing, but inflation is growing much quicker. They're losing purchasing power, and they may never retire. Big, big problem. The solution is to help them obtain a potentially better interest rate. Say a person could get 6 to 12%. Look at this example. Let's assume you're 29 years old and you have $10,000 at 4%. 4 into 72 is 18, so that 10,000 grows in 36 years to $40,000. Uh, your kids, you're 65, the kids are gone, the house is paid, and you want to retire. But you've got $40,000 to, to your name. How long is that going to last you? The way you spend, probably not very long. I'm just kidding. Maybe a year, maybe a little longer. If you're really frugal, then you're out of money. You're a greeter, and you're a greeter at Walmart. But here's the problem. We've run out of time. Who wants to work past 65? The only thing we could change is the interest rate. And here's the million-dollar question. If you could have 6 to 12% instead of 4%, you now have greater financial, would you now have greater financial independence? The answer is yes. Look at this. 
At 6%, your money doubles every 12 years. At 8%, it doubles every nine years. And at 12%, it doubles every six years. So in 36 years, at age 65, you've got $640,000. Now, uh, rule of 72 is a common mathematical formula that approximates the time period required to double a principal amount at a fixed rate of return. Actual rates may vary over time, and the rule of 72 numbers shown are for illustration purposes, should not be construed to infer the rate of return associated with any particular financial, financial product. So that's just an illustration. But that's amazing. The only difference between this guy and that guy is the interest rate, not more money or more time. Same age, same amount of money, the only difference is the interest rate. But it costs this guy $600,000. Now, Woody, isn't that a pretty important principle for you to learn? This could change the quality of your life. And you know what? It's not about having $10,000. The key is saving a little bit on a monthly basis at, decent interest rate, at a decent interest rate. If you will save for you at a decent interest rate, there may be a time where you will not be out-earning your money, but your money is out-earning you. Pretty awesome, huh? So the million-dollar question is, where can I get a decent rate of return? but yet have protection of principle where you're actually guaranteed not to lose money. Well, there are actually three strategies. I'm going to give you a synopsis on each one, and you tell me which one makes the most sense for you so that I know what is suitable for you when we get back together. First, fixed rate approach. You get a guaranteed fixed rate, but it's a low rate, approximately 2 to 3% or less, which may be risky because of inflation. The second approach is the other end of the spectrum, the stock market or mutual funds, where you've seen potential for high returns, but with a greater risk of losing your money. And a lot of people have because it's been pretty dicey lately. The third is the index strategy, where all the principal you save is protected. The, all the interest is, is earned, and all the interest earned is also protected, and you don't learn, lose any money. All interest earned is linked to what the S&P 500 stock index does, which for the past 24 years has averaged almost 10% 10, 10 a year. You know, that's a very pop, popular strategy. Let's talk about it. Let's talk a minute about it. You've heard of the S&P 500 index, right? The S&P stock index is 500 of the most widely held companies in the U.S. representing 100 industry groups such as technology, healthcare, utilities, etc. In fact, the S&P 500 represents almost 70% of the total domestic equity market capitalization, about 70% of the American economy. But get this, the S&P 500 has averaged almost 10% a year for the past 25 years. If you had invested in the S&P 500 25 years ago and averaged almost 10% a year, you'd be happy, right? Now, when we get back together, if we've determined that an index strategy is suitable for you, then I'll explain the specific products, costs, floors, caps, and other terms and conditions. But for now, let me give you an overview of the index strategy and how, in, how interest crediting works. All interest earned is linked to the S&P up to a cap, for example, 12%. But without any of the downside risk associated with putting money directly into the stock market. So you see, your money is protected from any market loss at the same time you participate in the growth of the S&P 500 up to a cap, for example, 12%, with the protection of downside market risk. That should be pretty important, don't you think? Here's an example. Let's say a few years back, <clears throat> you contributed $10,000. 
And after a year, the S&P rose 10%. You'd have, now it's grown to $11,000. Okay, we had another good year in year two. It's grown another 10%. And now you're up to $12,100. Here's where the power of indexing comes in. Year three, S&P drops 20%. Do you think it could do that? Well, it has. So now, instead of your account dropping to $9,600, you'd still be at that, you'd still remain at that $12,100, and you would have not experienced that 20% loss. So you see why the indexed approach is quickly becoming one of the most popular and you can see why. One of the best ways to win the rate of return and inflation battle is to be able to get potentially higher growth and protect your principal from any downside market loss. But what do you, you can't just win the rate of return battle and forget about taxes. In fact, I'm going to show you an example that will shock you and how important it is to employ both rate of return and the tax battle. Let's say 30 years ago, there was a guy 30 years of age, and he wanted to have a million dollars when he was 60. Now, he didn't understand any of this, so he just went down to the bank, and he said, Mr. Banker, what do I need to save every month for 30 years so that I can have a million dollars? Well, back then, CD rates were about 5%. Now they're 2 or 3 but then they were 5 Well, the banker figured it out and said, what you need to do is put exactly $1,639.29 a month for 30 years at 5%, and you'll get your million. Well, he was totally discouraged. He left the bank and never saved a dime. Now he's a greeter at Walmart. We've seen him, right? Now, what if we could have taught him how to win these two battles, the rate of return and the tax battle? Look at how that number drops. It's almost unbelievable. Let's win one at a time, the rate of return. Let's say he could have averaged 10% instead of 5%. It takes that number down to $900 a month. Now, uh, I can't guarantee that, uh, that any future performance of the S&P, and I'm, I'm just using some round numbers here, so bear with me. Um, however, Woody, can most people save $900 a month? Probably not. However, that's $700 less than that guy. That's significant, right? Now, what if we help him put his money away where he can be, where it can be taxed while it grows? So with tax deferral, what he does, what does he have to put away? Well, look at that, $438 a month. Now, what he, do you know people that can put away $438 a month? Sure, a lot of people. Uh, maybe you could do that. Okay, that's what you're blowing, right? See, to a lot of people, that's not a big deal. See, it's not so much about putting away a ton. It's about putting away what you can at a decent interest rate, reducing taxes, and avoiding loss of principal. In fact, in, in, fact, in step six, when we're done, a person knows how and when they will potentially be totally financially independent. And, and if we do it right, we can literally shave years off that retirement date. It's really neat. Woody, let me ask you this. If you are financially independent right now, and you have enough in your nest egg so that every month you had enough that you didn't have to work anymore, what would you and your wife be doing? What are your dreams? What are your goals? What would you be doing? That's great. Now, now think about it. If you were financially independent, you have options. And that's the point. You can do what you want, when you want, how you want. In fact, it was interesting the other day, we went through the implementation phase with a client. That's our second visit. And the wife was so excited, she gets up and says, you know what, I, I could go door to door asking my neighbors when they were going to be financially independent. 
You know, nobody would know, but I do. You know what? At that time, she and her husband became one because they knew what their dreams were and when it was going to happen. So it's exciting. And that's step six. Step seven, estate planning. Now, this is the last step of estate planning. A lot of times using a trust, uh, so upon your death you can leave a legacy in, instead of the headaches and possible tax burdens for your survivors. How a trust helps you avoid and probate and protect against liabilities. Also the importance of having a, a will, living will, power of attorney, and that type of thing. Uh, do you remember a while back the story about uh, Terry Schiavo, the lady who became incapacitated in the whole world, was arguing about what should happen to her? Well, imagine how different that would have been for her and her family if she had only had a simple living will. Are you concerned about who make medical, legal, and financial discussion, uh, decisions for you if you're unable to? Are you concerned with who will receive your assets when you pass away? Are you interested in updating or creating a will or trust? Let me ask you, do you already have an attorney or other advisor you work with on estate planning issues? No? Well, we recommend that you engage an attorney who specializes in estate planning. You also do have the alternative to use a company that isn't a law firm but prepares the documentations for a simple estate. I can give you some companies that can prepare simple estate plan documents for you if you're interested. Okay, great. So <laughs> that's step seven. Mm. Now, so they're kind of neat, aren't they? Uh, now let me ask you a very important question. Of these seven steps, if you had to narrow it down to two that are the biggest priority in your life, between increasing cash flow, eliminating debt, developing, developing an emergency fund, life insurance protection, building long-term financial independence, and tax planning, which, which is critical, and estate planning. And if you could only pick two, which two would they be? Good choices. Uh, let me tell you what we do. What we do is called a financial needs analysis so that we can make sure the products we offer are suitable for you. Where in a second I'll ask a few questions to help determine what your needs are, where your goals and dreams are. Then I'll take it back to the office and we have a very sophisticated software program where we'll input your information, will help us develop a plan of attack specifically around your needs and, and help you become one thing, financially independent as soon as. So it's awesome. Now, let me tell you the cost of this. When I come back, what I expect is hot chocolate chip cookies and a fresh, fresh out of the oven, which you personally baked, and a tall cup of milk. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You were too serious. I had to throw that out there. Now, uh, let me explain to you how we really get paid so you'll know. The companies that you choose to link up with and help you with your specific goals pay us a referral fee or a commission. So you won't be billed for financial, for financial services rendered by us. So it's a win-win it's a scenario. However, the information I bring back to you will only be as accurate as the information we put in. So work with me here. Because we're talking about your financial future, and if we do this right, we can potentially shave years off your retirement. Now, the first three or four questions are simple yes-no answers. Uh, I can't have a maybe. This, this will help you with your short and midterm goals and where you're heading. The next two or three years, do you plan on making a, a future purchase? Okay. Okay. Man, Woody, this is going to be just awesome when we get back together in a day or two. Woody, you, you've got $400 we can work with. Man, 
When we get back together, you're going to have a crystal clear picture of how and when you can potentially be totally financially independent. Fulfilling your dreams and goals, you're going to love it. But you're going to need to listen, and I'm going to need to spend some time on this because I know you're serious, so I'm going to be serious. All right, it's going to be awesome. John, Woody, this is going to be, this is going to change the quality of your life, and you're going to owe me big. Now, it's very important we build upon, uh, we build upon what we've talked about today, so we need to set up a time in the next 24 to 48 hours, but if we have to go clear into next week, I'll have to recapitulate everything we just covered. So we need to get back together as soon as we can because we're talking about your life here. So with that in mind, what's your schedule like? I, I have a, a 10 a.m. tomorrow or a 3 o'clock open. Which would you prefer? Okay, 3 o'clock tomorrow it is. Now, before I leave, let me ask you a couple of important questions. If when I come back, I can show you a plan that meets your needs every way, that you're totally comfortable with, is there any reason why we couldn't do business? Okay, good. And after we do business, is there any reason you wouldn't feel comfortable providing me with the names of three or four people you could really, you feel really benefit from my services in the same way I'm going to do with you? Okay, Woody, thank you very much, and I'll see you tomorrow, 3 o'clock. I guess that's it. Stop recording. Yes.